Welcome back to Living in the Word, and today we are looking at the birth and early life of Moses. So let's begin. Exodus 2, verses 1 to 10. And a man from the family of Levi went, and he took a descendant of Levi. And the woman conceived, and she gave birth to a son. And she saw him that he was a fine baby, and she hid him three months. But when she could no longer hide him, she got a papyrus basket for him, and she coated it with tar and with pitch. And she placed the boy in it, and she placed it among the reeds on the bank of the Nile. And his sister stood at a distance to know what would be done to him. And the daughter of Pharaoh went down to wash at the Nile, while her maidservants were walking alongside the Nile. And she saw the basket in the midst of the reeds, and she sent her slave woman for it and took it, and opened it and saw him, the boy, and it was a lad weeping. And she had compassion for him and said, This must be from the boys of the Hebrews. And his sister said to the daughter of Pharaoh, Shall I go and call for you a woman from the Hebrews who is nursing, so that she will nurse the boy for you? And the daughter of Pharaoh said to her, Go. And the girl went, and she called the mother of the boy. And the daughter of Pharaoh said, Take this boy and nurse him for me, and I myself will give you wages. And the woman took the boy, and she nursed him. And the boy grew, and she brought him to the daughter of Pharaoh, and he became her son. And she called his name Moses, and she said, Because I drew him out of out from the water. So Moses was a Levite, and he lives because his mother hides him for three months. Um, when she is unable to, to hide him any longer in the house, she makes a basket coated with tar, places Moses in it, and puts it among the reeds in the Nile River. Moses' sister, Miriam, watches from a distance as Pharaoh's daughter finds him. Um, Pharaoh's daughter pays Moses' mother to look after him, most likely until the age of two or three. And then Moses lives in the palace. What a start, an amazing start to Moses' life. Exodus 2, verses 11 to 15. And then in those days, when Moses had grown up, he went out to his brothers, and he saw their forced labor. And he saw an Egyptian man striking a Hebrew man, one of his brothers. And he turned here and there, and saw no one. And he struck the Egyptian, and he hid him in the sand. And he went out on the second day, and there were two Hebrew men fighting. And he said to the guilty one, Why do you strike your neighbor? And he said, who appointed you as a commander and a judge over us? Are you intending to kill me like you killed the Egyptian? And Moses was afraid, and he said, Surely the matter has become known. And Pharaoh heard this matter, and he sought to kill Moses. And Moses fled from Pharaoh, and he lived in the land of Midian, and he lived at a certain well. Moses knew that he wasn't an Egyptian. He knew he was a Hebrew. He goes out and he kills an Egyptian for striking a Hebrew. And then while breaking up two Hebrew men fighting, he becomes aware that his previous actions are not hidden but known. And he runs away to uh, the land of Midian. Exodus 2 verses 16 to 25. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters, and they came and drew water and filled the troughs, to water their father's flock. And the shepherds came and drove them away. But Moses stood up and came to their rescue and watered their flock. And they came to Raul, their father, and he said, Why have you come so quickly today? And they said, An Egyptian man delivered us from the hand of the shepherds, and he even drew water for us and watered the flock. And he said to his daughters, Where is he? Why then have you left the man? Call him so that he can... Eat some food. And Moses agreed to stay with the man, and he gave Zipporah, his daughter, to Moses. And she bore a son, and he called his name Gershom, because he said, I am an alien in a foreign land. And then during those many days, the king of Egypt died, and the Israelites groaned because of the work, and they cried out. 
and their cry for help because of the work went up to God. And God heard their groanings, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And God saw the Israelites and took notice. Moses marries uh, Zipporah, the daughter of the priests of Midian, and they have a son named Gershon. During Moses' absence from Egypt, the pharaoh that was chasing him died, and a new pharaoh rises. Um, it was not uncommon for new pharaohs to pardon criminals, which, which is why it probably makes it easier for Moses to return to Egypt uh, now that um, the old pharaoh, the one that was chasing him, has now passed away. The final verses of, of chapter 2 suggest that God had forgotten about the Israelites, um, but the truth is that he already had a plan. Moses' birth the basket in the reeds, Pharaoh's daughter finding him, all God's plan to save the Israelites and bring down the most powerful and evil nation at that time. God never forgets. His timing is perfect. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next video. God bless.